tell you, I, have, I, I wanted to stay here because they were going to put the bar mitzvah box. <laughs> and I never look over there. So, the, the one important thing, and this is why we have this impressive that Rachel and uh, Walker uh, when we talk about uh, family, for somebody like me who was an orphan at the, at the age of ten and a half, the one thing that I did know is how important family is. And I think that many of us have been studying for my masters, many of us uh, who were orphans and realized the importance of early socialization, the importance of early uh, childhood um, life in your family, and that's why my daughter Miriam who sits there, that's her life's work, uh, early childhood. I did uh, realize that I had an obligation to uh, do something that would have an impact on uh, family life and on other people's life. Especially in the way I talk about issues of sexuality uh, that brings about shalom bite, that brings about peace in the home. So I would like um, to just tell you very fast what we have learned. And I'm an optimist, there is no question that uh, because of the research that has been done, uh, particularly Kinsey and Masters and Johnson and Helen Singer Kaplan who trained me, there is a tremendous difference in terms of our sexual literacy, in terms of the knowledge about uh, sexuality, and I do believe there is a tremendous amount of difference in that sexual relationship because women, for example, since you uh, talked about women, women have learned that they have an obligation to give themselves permission to have sexual satisfaction. Gabi, even the best lover, even one that I have trained, can't bring a woman to sexual satisfaction if she doesn't give herself permission, if she doesn't teach him what she needs. So there is no uh, question that because of research, we have, um, we, we have better educated, uh, because of that sexual literacy, we do know more about uh, not only uh, sexual satisfaction for women, but about premature ejaculation for men, about difficulties obtaining and maintaining um, an erection, about difficulties in terms of uh, women and women after menopause, men who are uh, older. So we have, this has changed in terms of our knowledge about it. I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that, um, uh, for example, in New York, there are now uh, sex clubs springing up, indiscriminate sexual activity, uh, homosexual activity, heterosexual activity, and what worries me is that we will see more sexually transmitted diseases in the near future, and that, of course, again, what that would have an impact in terms of the family and the relationship at home. Uh, what we do need urgently, because we have built on that knowledge of Kinsey, Masters and Johnson, and Helen Singer Kaplan who trained me, what we need now is a new study, because the Kinsey study is 50 years old, it's too old. We need a new study of uh, now in order to advance that knowledge. But sex therapists do have a way of uh, treating people with sexual dysfunction. Um, I'm old fashioned and square. I would never ask here um, who has a sexual problem, but I'm going to give you fast homework. All of you women, and you can do it right here because it doesn't show your nose. <laughs> I want you um, in the Bechutzot Yerushalayim, all over Jerusalem, as of tomorrow, in your cars, not by driving, but at every red light, I want you to do the Dr. Kagan exercise, contracting and relaxing the vaginal muscle. I want you to look into a car next to you and wink. And what I'm saying with this kind of homework for men too, if I have time later, 
What I want to say with this, in the Talmud, in the Jewish tradition it says, a lesson taught with humor is a lesson retained. And I do believe that especially, this is what you certainly did that, that especially in issues of sexual literacy, because it is difficult to talk about that topic, but we have no choice. And sex education has to start at home by an asking parent. As soon as that child can ask the question, where do babies come from? And it has to continue, and we have to teach medical schools, uh, we have to teach in social work schools. We have the data, we have the scientifically validated data about human sexual functioning. He does, he does insist on a quickie. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what, what, what I want to say, in terms of Shlombai, Peace in the Home, this kind of sexuality education is very important and we have to stand up and be counted about it because the knowledge is there and we have to say still to respect people's uh, different values and beliefs and religious values. So whoever says not to be sexually active before marriage should stick to that. And, but we have to say that that knowledge has to be transmitted. And we have to use it in terms of teaching with respect to the different uh, backgrounds. But it all comes back to that Shlombai. It all comes back that it will be peace in the home. Thank you very much.